In this video, we will be looking at how to perform a design optimization sweep to obtain the optimal rear wing angle to reduce the force of drag for our F1 in schools model car. This video will show the steps necessary to perform this kind of analysis using ANSYS Discovery in Explore mode. This video is a continuation of the F1 in schools tutorial series. Since we will be looking at an optimization sweep, we will start by identifying and naming the body of interest. This will be our rear wing. First, we will select all the faces of the wing. There are five, including the end plates. In the bottom of our screen, we will select the tab labeled Five Faces. Click the selection button next to the green plus sign. Group one will appear under named selections. Rename this to rear wing. This allows us to easily select the rear wing without having to manually select all the faces for each design iteration. Next, select the rear wing and open the HUD. Navigate to Modeling, then Move. The Move handle will appear in the center of the rear wing. Select the handle to pitch the wing up and down. Then, select the ruler to set an angular orientation. Orient the wing to the y-axis and enter zero degrees so that the wing and y-axis are parallel. Next, select the parameter option in the Groups tab. Group 1 will appear under the Driving Dimensions. Rename this to Wing Angle. We have now set up the ability to change the angle of the rear wing without using the Move tool. In order to monitor the solve, we have already set up a monitor for the force of drag in the Y direction on the car. We will also set up a monitor for the force of lift on the rear wing in the Z direction. We can now set up the parametric sweep for the solve. Select the Variations button in the bottom center of the screen. A table will appear where we can input the parameters for our design study. By selecting a variation and setting it as current, the rear wing geometry will automatically update. Discovery can also build out a study for us. Select the Variations Generator and Wing Angle Parameter. This study will sweep through five wing configurations from 0 to 12 degrees. We can also hide monitors that are not of interest to the study. Since we are interested in total drag and wing lift, those will be the only monitors shown in our study. We can then choose whether to solve only the current geometry or to solve the entire table. Here we will solve the entire table. Now that the study is complete, we can examine the results. Looking at the monitors chart, we can see the results of the study plotted together. In this study, we can see that the largest amount of downforce is created at a wing angle of 9 degrees. By changing the monitor to drag force, we can see that drag is reduced at a wing angle of 6 degrees. If we want to highlight a result, we can click the star. If we want to set the geometry to a certain design variation for further analysis, we can set it as current and the geometry shown on the screen will be the selected geometry. At this point, we can either choose to perform further design studies, or we can create a prototype of the car to test our model in the wind tunnel. Our next video will use our optimized model, which we have just identified, and take it a step further by adding in a second car design. We will do this in order to perform a side-by-side -side analysis of the two geometries.